All right, guys, so I just want to show you a little bit about how I'm building my radiator before I have it all the way done. Um, this is going to connect using this little elbow right here. You can see how it is. This little elbow is going to connect into the top of this, just like that. And I'm hoping this rubber um, connector will kind of um, keep the heat from transferring from this metal to my radiator and keep my radiator a little bit cooler. So this metal elbow is going to go right here over that hole. Now if you look in here, I have a little baffle just from the piece that I cut out of this, turned it around and put it inside of there. So it kind of covers up this pipe because this pipe will have like that, I mean the gases coming into the radiator will try to go through the path of least resistance and I mean into the closest like suction area and that will be on this pipe. So I'm hoping that the gases will hit this and kind of disperse to these further two and then a little bit to those last further um, those last ones right there too. Um, so yeah I hope I'm hoping that works. If not, no big deal. I've got uh, I have a nice filter system and everything like that to cool down the gas too so. Um, yep, I'm going to weld that little baffle in place, a couple tack welds, weld that onto there, and then weld some end caps on, or something like that. Do something with the caps on the end of there, and then hopefully get a blower and be able to do a test run. Alright, thanks for watching. Alright guys, it's definitely not complete. I know it looks like it is, because it has a blower and everything on there. But everything here is pretty much just jury-rigged in a way that I can test it. That's my old hay filter that I'm not going to use, or probably not going to use on this one. I might use it to test it in a test video. And as you can see, I just have like my ends just have plastic and tape on them so they're sealed up. And I also don't have a big collection container. I just have three jars down here to collect my whatever in. Um, but right now, this is the point of this video is to kind of show you what I have done. I have the radiator pretty much done, hooked on there and everything. Um, and I'm going to show you how airtight the system is. So take a notice. Uh, take a notice. That makes sense. Um, at the angle that this paper's at right now, it just hangs like that because the tape is stiff or something like that. So that's the angle with no air. And right now, I believe I have my gas all the way shut. Make sure it's tight. Yep, it's tight. So, there it is. I'm going to plug this in. See if my thing's airtight or not. Even though this blower is not that strong. Alright. Uh, it's mildly blowing it. But to be honest with you guys, this blower doesn't fit on here perfectly right here. So that's probably where it's coming from because it's as if someone's, I don't know, bare, it's as if someone is like speaking onto your hand, it's not that, I guess it's like that power of uh, force of air. So now I'm going to open this and we're going to watch the paper and see if the paper moves. Yep, there goes the paper going up. So, I think that proves this system is fairly airtight. That blower is just really weak. And I can feel air getting sucked in right here at my finger. And then shut it almost all the way down. See if I can hear any air going through there or anything. If you listen very closely, you can hear the air getting sucked through that. I don't know if you can or not. I'm just trying to get you. So, right there, I'm opening it right now. There's the paper. It's being opened. You can see the paper is rising a little bit. And I'm going to close it. I'm almost. You can see the paper drops as I close it. It's not even tight yet. Alright. So there it is. I just tightened it down. 
So I think the only air getting into this system right now, as you can see it's barely moving that paper, is getting in through the sides of the blower right here and probably through the back of the blower a little bit. In fact, I'm not going to feel it. Well, that's a good test right there. My next video might be a test run with that blower on there. It's raining and it's getting pretty dark out right now, so I can't do it. Uh, stay tuned for that. Hopefully it'll work. See you then.